Today on Play to Win, it's judgment day for the dogs. Can they knock off LSU? Also, we'll break down all the matchups from championship weekend, all that and more on the fastest 30 minutes in television, football's Play to Win. Today's show is being brought to you by your Atlanta Nissan dealers, Moe's Southwest Grill, and the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Welcome to football's Play to Win with Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith, Falcons All-Pro offensive tackle Bob Whitfield, play to win expert Jeffrey the Edge Schechter, player medical and injury reports with Dr. Sadiq Alamin, Falcons All-Pro wide receiver Terrence Mathis, and your host, Nikki Williams. Today's hometown team report is being brought to you by Montlick and Associates. Our attorneys know what it takes to win. Good morning, Atlanta. Uh, I am not Nikki Williams. I am Chris Marler. Welcome into Play no, to Win. You are not Nikki. Well, you don't have to say it like that, but that's fine. We'll get into it, guys. We have a fantastic panel today. We got my man B Dub over here, Bob Whitfield, <laughs> T Matt, yeah. and Chuck. Which is Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. Yeah, Chuck. Well, guys, I've been called worse. Okay. That's true. Me too. All right. Me too. Let's get right into it, guys. Uh, this week, the, the latest college football playoff rankings came out, and not everyone. Was thrilled. What, what was your biggest takeaway from, uh, from the latest rankings? Well, my biggest takeaway is the way it's set up that if Georgia loses this weekend, a team that could get in is what? A Pac 12 team right. like Utah. So a lot of people are frustrated about that because Oklahoma's sitting back there. So remember, you got Utah, they haven't beaten a team in the top 20. So really, it's interesting how it's going to fall out. They haven't beaten a team in the top 30. Right. How about that? Yeah. Don't hate on Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate on Oregon. Don't hate on the Pac 12 because they have set themselves up. In this position to slide right in if LSU beats Georgia. I like it. I like this time of year. You got four, five, and six sitting there and just battling each other, figuring it all out. And, and I like the way it sits. Yeah. You know, then, you know, then we talk about Clemson who feel they are not respected, but one and two, one, two, and three are the. Yeah. yeah I accept. I mean, well, and listen, well, speaking of uh, weak strength of schedule here, Let's talk about Dabo Sweeney, because he was not happy with the, the latest rankings or the lack of respect uh, his team has been getting. I mean, Georgia loses to this very same team, and the very next day it's, how do we keep Georgia in it? We win to the team that beat South Carolina, and it's, we, how do we get Clemson out? It's the dadgum mistake. So it's big because, you know, they can't vote us out. I mean, we got we to gotta go under, we got to go 30-0. and 0. I mean, we ain't got no choice. But we don't play nobody. Guys, that, that last line, I don't know if that was a joke or not because they don't play anybody. They have the weakest strength of schedule of any of the contenders. And by the way, wasn't it a Clemson team that lost a 4-8 and eight Syracuse? See, it's a weak it conference. Playoff? It's a weak conference. That's what it is. It's the SEC versus ACC. SEC got two. ACC got one. Weak conference, and Dabo's knowing that the conference is just not that strong. That last statement was for his team to get them ready to play in December. That's basically what it was. What he was pretty much saying is it's us against the world. Yeah. Well, my thoughts are this. That's Clemson. At the end of the day, it's Clemson. Everybody knows when you look at that team, Clemson is ready. This Clemson team is as good as anybody in the mm -hmm. country. You can talk about strength of schedule. But again, that is Clemson, man. Those are five stars, the same yeah. deal. I believe Clemson, at the end of the day, they deserve it. Dabble's correct, though, underrated. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right. It's, it's, there's still probably going to win the national championship. Anyway, still to come, we will go in-depth on the battle between the UGA defense and the LSU offense. But next, with four games left, what's the state of the NFC South this season? Stay tuned on Football's Play to Win to find out. On or off the field, we all have rules to play by. But what happens after a serious car crash when the insurance company won't play fair? At Motlick & Associates, we know injury law, and we know what it takes to win. After all, we've been winning in our field for over 35 years. If you've been injured, we're here to help. Simply dial pound win from your cell phone for your free consultation. That's pound 946. Oh, I'm glad you found it. Oh, we were just happy to get some time away. You're the first couple to try our new bed and breakfast bundle. It's bed and breakfast in the same room. You wake up to the smell of coffee and bacon, made by a private chef, right there. So we're sleeping in the kitchen. Well, I'm sure you'll write a better than that for the review. Stuck in a bad bundle? Get a great one. Bundle AT&T Fiber and Direct TV and get a $100 reward card. 
Limited availability may not be in your area. Call one 877 only att When you're Arby's, you can do certain things like load roast beef and curly fries onto a sandwich, add horsey sauce, Arby's sauce, and cheddar cheese sauce on there. Sell them two for six bucks. And when you're Arby's, you can call it the Arbonator. Because if you aren't, Arbonator is a super strange name to just invent. Arby's, we have the meat. Athletes of all levels experience more wear and tear than most. Stop playing through the pain. Get the proper medical attention you need from Dr. Elamine and the staff at the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Our team includes specialists in many fields offering compassionate care and advanced treatments that will get you back in the game. From weekend warriors to athletes of all levels, we've got your back and shoulder and ankle and knee. Call today for an appointment or visit theshouldernation.com. Today's Atlanta Falcons report is being brought to you by your Georgia Drive Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, by New Roads. Welcome back to Play to Win. Guys, let's bring the mood down a little bit. Um, (laughs) Let's get into the Chevrolet Falcons report. Uh, here's, so here's the standings for NFC South. Not great. Not great, no. Bob. Um, <laughs> well, Riverboat Ron is out at Carolina, and so is Cam Newton getting surgery this weekend. So, you know, the Falcons are sitting pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't used that word a lot with the Falcons. <laughs> well, you know, of course, New Orleans is cr- cream of the crop, and people say, are they that good, or is this the division that right. bad? They can't help who they play, just like Clemson. They can't that's, help who yeah, they play. Right. You know, and I, something I always remember with Dan Reeves told us, Coach Reeves, Dan Reeves would always say, when you're losing and you're winning, the high is real high when you're winning, mm-hmm. but the low is even lower. So to me, the Falcons right now, I mean, the high is gone. It's, they're at the bottom, and then when you go to practice, things are different. Yeah. You're playing the season out. Guys are playing for not only just pride, they're playing for an opportunity to, you know, show off for another team. Right. So it's a lot of things they're playing what for. What we used to say, bonuses. you're playing for jobs. <laughs> yeah, you're playing for jobs. So I understand what it feels like, you know. So it's just one of those things that it's really not, it's not a good feeling. And it's cold, too. I don't want to be going out of practice right now. That's pretty Not nice. That that's all. pretty nice today. Um, so, serious question here. Can the Bucks or the Panthers be a playoff team from this division? Absolutely not. No. Okay. I mean, Sorry, there's no, no way. The NFC, they're deep. You got Minnesota. You got the Saints. You got San Fran. You got Seattle. Must I go on? You got Dallas that's going to probably win the NFC, NFC East with maybe a 9-7 and seven record. Nah, Tampa, you know, those guys in Carolina, no, it's a wrap. Even though they're still in the hunt, it's right. a wrap. They ain't in the hunt. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's go to Jeffrey the Ed Schechter and see who he thinks is going to win this weekend. Carolina just fired their coach. I don't think that'll help them any which way. I, I like Atlanta, give them two and a half points. I think they're a better team than Carolina, and Carolina's – not that Atlanta is great, but Carolina is like they lost to Washington. Nobody loses to Washington. Give the two and a half with Atlanta. Now it's time for the Ippolito's You Be the Expert contest. This season, be sure to visit our website, playing2win.tv, and take a shot to be number one against all the competition by picking this week's college and NFL winners against the spread. We'll be giving away Ippolito's $100 and $50 gift certificates to each week's first and second place winners. So make sure you come back every week and prove your football IQ by being the best at predicting this week's college and NFL games. Ippolito's, a great neighborhood Italian restaurant. All right, before we go to break, what game are you looking forward to most this weekend? The game that's in the city. I'm looking forward to Georgia taking on LSU. And let me tell you why. Georgia's an underdog. No one's really giving them a chance. But let me tell you what this reminds me of. It reminds me of 1999, the New England Patriots' first Super Bowl when no one gave them a chance against the greatest offense of all time, the greatest show on earth. I really believe Georgia has an opportunity to shake up the world. All right. Well, when we come back, we will discuss that and more. When we return, our focus shifts to the other conference championships today. So stay tuned for more on Football's Play to Win. At Chevy, we're all about bringing families together. This time of year, that's really important. That's why our Chevy employee discount is now available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Family is important to us. So happy holidays. And welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $11,800 on this Silverado All-Star. Georgia drives Chevy. Find new roads. This is Will preparing for takeoff. 
And this is a loving reminder from his wife. Trade table. This is Will finally depositing that expense check. Oh, and this is Will paying his brother-in-law back with Zell for their annual camping trip. And this is Will finally relaxing for the long flight. This is your right here, right now bank. This is Wells Fargo. When your psoriasis is bad, it can be hard to see what's possible. But the possibilities become clear with TALTS, the first and only treatment of its kind offering a chance at 100% clear skin. With TALTS, up to 90% of those with moderate to severe psoriasis saw a significant improvement of their psoriasis plaques. Some even saw 100% clear skin. Don't use if you're allergic to TALTS. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. Increased risk of infections and lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about infections, symptoms, or if inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop, worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Serious allergic reactions can occur. See the possibilities. Ask your doctor about TALTS. Tonight, get Longhorns Turf and Surf, like our Flo's Filet and Lobster Tail. And for a limited time, the Sirloin and Lobster Shrimp Mac and Cheese and our Crab Cake Filet. That's how steak is done. Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. Today's SEC and ACC report is being brought to you by your Atlanta Nissan dealers. Welcome back, guys. Let's get into the SEC and ACC report. Are you excited? We got, we got, it's championship weekend. We got a full slate of games. Big games. Big, big games. Big games. And I mean, the biggest to me on that list right there is Hawaii at Boise State. There it is. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. You know what it is. Georgia LSU, then Baylor, Oklahoma. Those are tough matchups, evenly matched teams that people are going to really enjoy that game, those games. Yeah, I, I like the Ohio State-Wisconsin yeah, game, yeah. let me tell you, because Ohio State, I think they're going to put up a big number. I think they're going to show why they're the number one team when it comes down to being in this Final Four. I like what J.K. Dobbs has done. I like Dobbins. I like what Justin Fields have done. And you know, this team is dominant. I really yeah. like where Ohio State is. If you like basketball, Oklahoma and Baylor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. basketball that was an exciting game they already played, yeah. too. You know, I, but you got to understand is Jalen Hurst has been in these big games before. Right. So I give the edge to Oklahoma in this game. Yeah, Baylor just continues to not get any respect. That, but I agree with you. I don't, I don't know why they would. Um, Badgers and Buckeyes, Ohio State, Wisconsin. You touched on it earlier. Does Wisconsin have a chance? They're only a 17-point underdog. I think they do have a chance, but let okay. me tell you why. They're going to have to run the ball. But here's the thing. Remember the last game? Chase Young had four sacks, absolutely dismantled the Wisconsin offensive line. they got to handle Chase Young or they're not going to be able to get anything done. I just think Ohio State, I think they're going to put up a big number. And I really think Ohio State's going to win the national championship, but they're going to show it this weekend against Wisconsin. Yeah, fair enough. All right, well, it's now time for the college football showdown. Today's showdown of the week is being brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. All right, guys, uh, here's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Let's go to Waco <laughs> and uh, let's talk Baylor, Oklahoma for the Big 12 championship. What is, what's the key to this game? Playing four quarters for Baylor. You know, they played last game. They were up three scores going into the second half, and the wheels fell off. Yeah. But, you know, Jalen Hurst, with his experience in big games, brought them back and won the football game for him. So I think if Baylor plays four quarters, they have an opportunity. But the key in this game is Jalen Hurst. Yeah. Um, yeah, go, uh, definitely Jalen Hurst. I was just going to shine on it. Uh, Jalen Hurts, his experience, the method in which he keeps that team focused in the game and his calm demeanor does hold an advantage for Oklahoma. I'm making Jalen Hurts uncomfortable. To me, I'm, I'm beating him up. So think about this. For Baylor to win this game, you got to slow down Jalen Hurts. That, that is the key. Yeah. He is the catalyst. He makes everything go. So to me, for Baylor, I like Matt Rule as the coach, but I also think he is the college coach of the year, in my opinion. Oh, oh yeah, in my opinion. He's going to have him ready, but I'm, I'm trying to tap, tap, tap. I'm trying to get after Jalen Hurts. Well, and they put pressure on him early in the first half oh, of yeah. the last game, and mm -hmm. he had three turnovers. That's a really right. good point. Let's go to our expert, Jeffrey the Edge Schechter, and see who he's picking. This is a rematch of Baylor, Oklahoma. Baylor blew a 28-3 first half lead. You Falco fans are familiar with that. Against Oklahoma, or else they would be undefeated, and they might be the number four team. They win this game, they got a shot at number four. I like Baylor with the eight and a half points. 
All right, after the break, we're going to get down to business. We're going to talk the SEC Championship game and who has the edge in the matchup between the Tiger offense and the dog defense. And can Jake Fromm lead the offense to enough points to beat the number two team in the land? Our experts weigh in next on Football's Play to Win. Today's show is being brought to you by your Georgia Drive Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, find new roads, This Is It Barbecue, and Atlanta Peach Movers. Got you a custom jersey. Thanks, man. Wait, it reads colon instead of colon. Ooh. You missed the accent. I know how you feel. I was missing my favorite games, but then I switched to DirecTV, and they also gave me this season of NBA League Pass. Now I can watch the NBA whenever and wherever I want. Hey, maybe next time about your half-brother. Send me colon. <laughs> TV without NBA League Pass is just kind of TV. Switch and Direct TV will give you this season of NBA League Pass. Don't just kind of TV, Direct TV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. On or off the field, we all have rules to play by. But what happens after a serious car crash when the insurance company won't play fair? At Motlick & Associates, we know injury law, and we know what it takes to win. After all, we've been winning in our field for over 35 years. If you've been injured, we're here to help. Simply dial pound win from your cell phone for your free consultation. That's pound 946. Own the tailgate with the new Georgia Bulldogs Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every dog's tailgate with chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. Dogs dig the new Georgia Bulldogs Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. At Chevy, we're all about bringing families together. This time of year, that's really important. That's why our Chevy employee discount is now available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Family is important to us. So happy holidays. And welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $11,800 on this Silverado All-Star. Georgia drives Chevy. Find new roads. Today's University of Georgia report is being brought to you by Beaver Toyota. We're here to wow ya. All right, guys, it is finally time to discuss the biggest matchup in the entire country, the SEC Championship, Georgia LSU. Are y'all pumped? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big boy yeah. ball, unlike the Pac-12. That's <laughs> I'm real pumped, <laughs> unlike the Pac-12. Oh, um, speaking of big boy ball, we're going to go to another big boy over here uh, and, and listen to or try to listen to uh, LSU head coach Ed Orgeron, who was asked earlier this week, if the LSU Tigers lose this Saturday, should they still be in the college football playoff and national championship race? No. I ain't thinking about it. Uh-uh. We're not buying into that at all. We got to win. I don't know if we got to win to get in the playoffs or not. That's not I'm not even talking about that. We got Our goal is to beat Georgia and win the SEC, and then let's see what happens. So we're, that's not coming into play. We're not talking about that, and we're not even considering it right now. Somebody, um, somebody get my man some hot tea. I mean, <laughs> so, I'm jealous. I, I got Mike Tyson boy, so I'm right. jealous. Man, I love that, man. Think of the mindset. Yeah. The coach is coming out saying, we ain't worried about that. But I will say this. In my opinion, if LSU loses, they're absolutely going to be in that number four spot, I believe. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, can, bottom line, can this Georgia defense stop this LSU offense? I think they're going to have to – there's a few things they're going to have to do. Number one, they're going to have to get after the quarterback. They're going to have to get after Joe Burrow. But here, let me just tell you this. In the SEC right now, this, in my opinion, is one of the worst group of pass rushers and pass rush teams the SEC seen in a long time. That, it is what it is. Now, I'm going to just tell you. When you look at the SEC, LSU's number one pass rusher is what? Jacoby Stevens. He's a defensive back. He has five sacks. Georgia has Aziz, what? Ojolari. He's only got four and a half, but LSU other guys are down at the bottom. So, to me, when I don't see a Tyler Clark on here, Georgia's right. best defensive lineman, it's weak. So to me, Georgia's got to rush the passer. If they do like they've been doing, they're going to struggle, and then LSU's going to put up a big number. Georgia has a chance if they, if they allow, if they LSU will punt the football. Yeah. And if they don't punt the football, that means they're scoring touchdowns or kicking field goals whatsoever. And I don't think Georgia can play a run and shoot game with LSU. Unlike Chuck using stats, this is not going to be a analytics. stat game. <laughs> with, my, with my boy here, I got to have my analytics. I got to get my analytics right with Chris here. This is a game of energy and emotion, and what you have is two of the best teams in the country that's going to bring a lot of energy and a lot of emotion to the Bend Stadium this, this Saturday. So what you need is just that energy to go four quarters for Georgia. 
LSU throws the ball a lot. That puts their defense in harm's way to give up a lot of opportunities to Georgia's offense. But, mm -hmm. but the energy in the fourth quarter is going to matter. Whoever's the team that keeps the energy focused and keeps the, the, the spirit going is going to win that game. Spirit. Let me tell you what's got to happen. I disagree with Terrence, and I disagree with a lot of people. What they're saying, absolutely, Jake Fromm and this Georgia team, they got to expect to get into a shootout. Because what are you going to say? We already know LSU going to put up a big number. You already know that. So how everybody say, well, we need Jake to you know run the ball. We know Swift is hurt. And you know LSU coming in here with the greatest show on turf college, the greatest offense yeah. arguably in history? Jake Fromm has to earn the right to you – know, he has to do what? Be that guy. Yeah. You got rid of – you let – you didn't get rid of – you let Justin Fields go to Ohio, Ohio State, and now you got – listen, everybody's saying Jake Fromm can't do it. Everybody loves Jake Fromm. Jake Fromm has to be the Georgia quarterback that changes the dynamics of this game, and he has to throw downfield. To and who? Cage or go? Don't matter. Big <laughs> player. You, you got to do it. I'm not it, doubting his ability, matter. but you got to do it. They must have a magic playbook hidden somewhere that they haven't used all year for the passing game because if it's the same passing game they've been using for the last 12 weeks, they can't play but you gotta do, with you, LSU. You gotta, but you got to try. I mean, That's what I'm saying. Try. They scored over 27 yeah. points once in the past seven games. It's, it's, Listen, it's I don't want to throw a lot game. of stats and analytics here, Bob. But yes, you do. LSU's <laughs> doing it against the top defenses, too. <laughs> they're, they're averaging over 40 yeah. points a game against ranked defenses. Oh, but, yeah, they're doing it. They're so, doing yeah. it with a new offensive coordinator and a new style of football. So yeah. one of the things that you love about LSU is just competitive teamwork. Georgia's, team teamwork. Look, Georgia's experience, there's something to go for experience. That's Three true. times being the SEC championship. Don't be surprised if the dogs shut them down, though. All right, speaking of teamwork, let's go to another member of our team and see what Jeffrey the Ed Schechter has for his picks. Great matchup, Georgia and LSU. Georgia has the best defense in the country. And even a better defense is if you can run the ball, keep LSU's offense off the field, and then when they come back on the field after being on the sideline, you get a little itchy want to score fast, next thing you know they're throwing interceptions. I like Georgia with the seven and a half points. I think they can win this game. When we come back, Dr. Elamine checks in with his player injury report, so stay with us. It only happens once a year. It's always fun. It's Toyotathon at Beaver. Watch this. This is a limited time event, so put us on your list early. You simply cannot afford to miss this sale. You can shop 15 Toyota models with 0% financing or with lifetime warranty. You'll save thousands. It's the best time of year to buy a new Toyota. Why? Inventory levels drive up factor incentives, resulting in the lowest prices of the year. Simply put, I cut prices to the bone. Beaver, Toyota, and coming. We're here to wow you. We've owned a few different houses through the years. Your company was absolutely the best. They were so professional. Everything they did, they didn't get a mark on a wall or anything else. It was clean, it was friendly, and it was fun. And most of the time, moving is not fun. I'm going to give a great recommendation to Atlanta Peach Movers. It's always on time and it's always professional. There is no tree in Atlanta Peach Movers. To schedule your move, call Atlanta Peach Movers today. We live with AT&T, and we are well past the honeymoon phase. Occupado, Tom. AT&T, what's this I hear about you advertising a 100% fiber network? Only like a fraction of my customers can get that. That's it? You have such a glass half empty attitude. The glass is more than half empty. You need to relax, Tom. Oh. Tom, you need a little Tom time. LTT. Stop living with AT&T. Xfinity delivers gig speeds to more homes than anyone. Look what God has done. Thank you. Because of your support, we've grown to locations all over Atlanta. This is the time of year where we all take time to give thanks and to celebrate with family and friends. May God richly bless you and your family is our prayer. Thank you and happy holidays. See you soon. Today's player, medical, and injury report is being brought to you by the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. All right, this is my favorite part of the show. Oh. I learned a lot of big words here. Let's get into the <laughs> NFL player medical report. That's right. Well, the first person we got to talk to is Cam Newton, right? As yep. you know, the Carolina Panthers quarterback underwent surgery this week for that Liz Frank injury. Right. We talked about that last week. That's a pretty bad injury, you know, typically. That's an injury that could actually affect him for the rest of his career. So oh. I'm worried about this. He will get back, but well, the question is, will he be the same? Okay. So yeah. another quarterback, uh, not a series of an injury, 
Baker Mayfield hurt his hand. That's right. Actually, you know, he when he was throwing the ball, he hit one of the Pittsburgh Steelers' helmet. Right. Went into the locker room, had X-rays. They were negative, but he's been seeing with a brace. He's been having limited practice this week, but he should get back. He should play. This should not affect him. This is not a, the same as uh, Drew Brees. Right. So we should, should be okay. Pittsburgh just in a violent rivalry this year. Yeah, I see. Um, about one one more player that's near and dear to all of our hearts yes. here. Um, Julio Jones, should he play, yeah, even if right. he is able to play? As you know, Julio Jones, the superstar, basically has been dealing with foot injuries this mm -hmm. year, hamstring injury this year. The question is, should he rest? I honestly think he should, because yeah. everyone knows that hamstring injuries can take six to eight weeks to get better. Foot injuries, as we know, we don't want them to end up with as a Cam Newton in the future. So my thoughts with him is he really needs to just take it easy. I would rest. Okay. And then one last player here, Greg yeah. Olson, suffered a, a pretty concerning injury yeah, last week. Yeah, he did. As you know, he has a concussion. He's in a concussion protocol. And I think I think he suffered, suffered uh, concussions prior in his career. So my thing with him is he probably won't play this week. He may be out for the whole season. All right. Thank you, Dr. E. Let's cut it to Jeffrey's picks and see what the expert has to say in the lightning round. Oh, my God. Try the new buffalo chicken burrito at Moe's today. At Chevy, we're all about bringing families together. This time of year, that's really important. That's why our Chevy employee discount is now available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Family is important to us. So happy holidays. And welcome to the family. It's Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $11,800 on this Silverado All-Star. Georgia drives Chevy. Find new roads. On or off the field, we all have rules to play by. But what happens after a serious car crash when the insurance company won't play fair? At Motlick & Associates, we know injury law, and we know what it takes to win. After all, we've been winning in our field for over 35 years. If you've been injured, we're here to help. Simply dial pound win from your cell phone for your free consultation. That's pound 946. Oh my God. Try the new Buffalo Chicken Burrito at Moe's today. Today's lightning round is being brought to you by Moe's Southwest Grill. Come in today. Welcome back to the Moe's lightning round. Guys, let's get some picks in. Let's do it. Well, this week, I'm going to pick two college games, four pro games, because there's not that many college games. I like UL Lafayette against App State. I think they're going to win that division championship, take the six and a half with UL Lafayette. Ohio State made a believer out of me last week, and Wisconsin played great against Minnesota, but I don't see how they can stop and give the 16 and a half with Ohio State. In the pros, I like Buffalo with the five and a half points against Baltimore. Buffalo has a hell of a defense. I like Buffalo. Cleveland stinks. I like Cincinnati. They won last week. I'm going to go with them again this week, take the eight and a half. To me, Frisco is still the best team in the NFL. Take the two and a half with them at New Orleans. Seattle's probably the second best team in the NFC. Give the one with Seattle against the Rams. All right. We are out of time. Unlike Gus Malzahn, uh, we do not have an extra second. Sad to Let say, but Let I, it go. no chance. Never going to happen. But make sure you tune in next week. Thank you for watching. Play to win. Nikki will be back in place of me. Yay! So, yeah. <laughs> Today's show has been brought to you by Beaver Toyota. We're here to wow you. Montlick and Associates, our attorneys know what it takes to win, and Xfinity.